Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is January the 2nd, and I wanted to talk about my crafty goals for this year, 2021. <laughs> now, I did make some goals um, last year, but because last year was so crazy, I don't even know what my goals were. <laughs> They're written down somewhere, and I think I mentioned them in a video, but uh, I'm not worried about it. Because <laughs> I know I didn't, um, probably didn't do most of them, but that's okay. <laughs> So I do have a few, I have them scribbled down real quick because I actually have them on my phone, which is what I record with. So I had to scribble them down really quick to um, be able to read them. But there's, they're nothing crazy and uh, I'm trying not to be so committed to things this year. I don't know if that's a bad thing. <laughs> that kind of sounds bad when I say it like that. But like uh, last year I overcommitted to a lot of things and I uh, I felt like I was had too much pressure on myself all of the year for getting things done and all that. And so I want to relax more this year, focus on that more this year, and not uh, overcommit. <laughs> I just don't want to feel pressured to have to make certain things or uh, get done in a certain time frame. So with that being said, here are my goals for this year. <laughs> okay, this goal is like a loose one because I don't know if uh, it'll be usable or whatever. But I want to make a bunch of fair items for my county fair if it's a thing this year. <laughs> Last year they did cancel it. Uh, and all the ones around us, and I'm sure everywhere else probably too, uh, obviously because of the virus. So I'm hoping maybe because the vaccines have been starting going out, um, my age <laughs> and my health and job, uh, me and Devin won't be able to get the vaccine until the end of this year, according to my county's release dates. And Jesse won't be able to get it until uh, probably the end of this year too, because he'll be going to school later this year, which is crazy. <laughs> but, um, Either way, we won't be able to get the vaccine until later this year uh, in my area. My area is doing it. Right now, they're doing it 75 plus and then, like, the frontline workers, uh, people who work in pharmacies and stuff like that. I mean, you know, doctors and all that, obviously. <laughs> but um, then they're doing an age group downwards throughout the year, depending on health and your career. Different careers will pop get it sooner, and obviously, if you have uh, different health concerns. Anyways, we're not talking about that. I'm just getting sidetracked. <laughs> Anyways, um, what was the thing? Fair items. I love entering stuff into my county fair. It's a lot of fun, and it's a lot of fun to go see your items and see if you get any ribbons. And it's also fun to see other people's items that they entered um, to just compare, you know, and it's just fun. <laughs> and my county fair, you get money. Um, they have different little premiums for the different ribbons. We have three ribbons, technically four, but three regular ones, first, second, and third. And then we have best of show. And it, it's just a little bit of money. Like, best of show is $10. A ribbon um, first place is like two or three and then second place is like six and then um, first place did I say that already <laughs> first place is like eight dollars a ribbon but uh, I usually enter like 30 items so I, I usually get around a hundred dollars um, a year except last year or yeah it's weird saying that 2020 is last year because <laughs> uh, it was canceled but yeah, so I want to work on fair items. I already got a couple things going uh, and done uh, from last year because I think it still counts. Because our rules is from fair to fair. So we didn't have fair last year, so it counts. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to make them at, you know, throughout the year, put them in a box. And if I have a county fair, then I can enter them. And if I don't, then I can save them for 2022. <laughs> and, uh, you know, eventually things are going to get back to normal, hopefully. But um, so that's one of my goals is to make fair items. Long story short, <laughs> it took me four minutes to explain that. But okay. Uh, second goal, they're in no particular order, <laughs> is use stash yarns. I've noticed that I've, my stash has gotten a lot bigger lately, because mostly because people's gifted me yarn, which I love. But uh, I want to use it. I don't want it just sitting in there forever. That's also why I've been doing more yarn giveaways. I, I've been doing one a week for uh, two months now. I think I just did the ninth one, so that's nine weeks, you know. Um, Cause I don't like just, you know, there's no point in having it and it just sitting there never being used. Uh, I'm not a minimalist, however you say that, by no means, as you can see, my house is decorated like crazy. But, um, I just don't like having stuff that I'm never going to use. I, I do clean outs all the time in my kitchen and all that, and things I haven't touched in a couple months, I just get rid of. Cause if I'm not cooking with it in the last few months, I'm not using it, you know. I did that with my closet, I actually did it with my clothes today, um, getting stuff out for donation. But I'm going to do the same thing with yarn. If uh, like I have all my solid colors, my wall that you see in some videos, those are for my amigurumis and stuff like, you know, that, decoration thingies. 
I always use that. There's solid, mostly Red Heart. Some of it's like I Love Yarn and Karen and random things. But like I'm talking about the like the patterned yarns, like variegated specialty yarns, bulky yarns, all that kind of yarn. I want to try to like use through that. I don't really have a problem with buying yarn. I don't purchase a lot of yarn. When I do, it's like fill in colors. Or if I see a yarn I really like, I'll buy a couple balls of it to make something with. But um, I rarely buy yarn. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I bought yarn. I actually, I bought some yesterday, but it wasn't for me. It was for a swap that I'm doing. <laughs> so that doesn't count. But, um, so I just want to try to use up my stash. And you'll see it in one of my next videos. Because I, uh, I moved, I cleaned up my craft area a lot where my yarn is. So it's all my yarn that I own. That's not like scrap balls is on that wall now <laughs> so uh you'll be able to see it and hopefully see it dwindle <laughs> as i use it hopefully <laughs> i do have some more yarn coming in though because um the website that's yarn rush that is owned by the people who own uh knit crate i was like an ambassador for them and they um they realized that their sales weren't do wasn't doing very well so they're gonna they got like the website down um to like revamp it and offer different things so um because i i had so many people sign up through um, my link. I got the different tier of rewards. One of them was a really nice set of knitting needles, and then one of them was also like a year subscription. So to reimburse me for that year subscription payment, even though I didn't pay them, you know, I earned it by working for them. Um, they gave me a gift card, <laughs> so of the value, which was pretty cool. And uh, I ordered a ton of size six, five, six. It's hometown, library hometown. It's five or six. I ordered a ton of that. <laughs> um, I think I ordered like 30 or 40 balls of it. I used the entire gift card they gave me, which was like $65, I think. And then I only had to pay a little bit over that in the shipping. I only had to pay like $13 out of pocket. And it shipped the other day. So it's coming eventually. <laughs> so I got to figure out something to do with that. But I ordered it in, with the thought of making hats for like donation and like um, ear warmers. But uh, it, it'll probably set in a box for a while. Because <laughs> I have a yarn order in there right now that's setting in a box. I have not even showed you guys. Um, it's millions. But anyways, I just want to use my stash. That's what I'm trying to say. Why am I talking so much? God, goodness gracious. It's because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I haven't really done a video in like a week or so. Because the videos you've seen lately have been pre-recorded. But um, yeah. Another one is I want to participate in more cows. Last year I didn't participate in a lot of... Uh, other people's things. I didn't host anything either, did I? I don't think I did. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while, but um, I love participating in cows because it's fun for them to give us like, oh, make hats or whatever or themed things, and you have this time frame. So it's fun to just see if you can do it, you know. And it's also fun to see what everybody else comes up with. So uh, I want to participate in Seta's calendar cow this year. I didn't do it last year. And, but I want to do it this year. And she's doing cowls. So I think I'll do cows too. And I can just donate them. I'll probably keep some of them because I like cows. But um, I'll donate whatever I don't want. Because um, I have no luck selling hats and stuff like that where I live. Uh, my main sellers uh, in local areas to me is amigurumis and baby blankets. But I uh, have had any luck. I used to sell a lot of slouchy hats when Devin worked at a different place. Because he had one and then everybody he worked with wanted one. But uh that's, that's beside the point. Um, Seth is doing her calendar cow. Christy is doing her hats, hats, and more hats. And I want to do that this year because it looks so fun last year. I watched it. I watched other people do it, but I didn't do it. So I want to participate in that this year. Um, Judy at Witch Piece Craft is doing a birthstone one that I watched the video too earlier, but I, I wasn't paying, I was sewing because I wasn't paying like 100% attention. So I'm going to, I left it on my watch later so I can go like recheck it out. Someone else is doing one. I think, um, who was it? Cindy at Cindy Hearts Crochet. I feel like she's doing something for Valentine's Day. I know I watched her video, but I can't remember. I have to rewatch it. <laughs> but I've already seen a bunch popping up, so I want to participate in some of those this year. I might host one. I might do Christmas in July, because I really enjoy doing that. I did it two years, and then I didn't do it last year. So I, I might do that again this year. I don't know. I don't want to commit to anything. <laughs> That's one thing I, uh, I'm trying to take a step back from is committing to so much. Some, you know, sewing so much and uh, participating in swaps. Because sometimes, you know, I, I agree to participate in a swap and then I end up getting super stressed out trying to prepare for it. So I'm trying to 
chill. Okay. That was that. <laughs> Another goal. This is just a goal that I, it's a loose goal again. It's okay if I don't hit it, but I, I want to, I'm inspiring to hit it, <laughs> is to design patterns this year. I love, um, I've made a few patterns over the last few years, and they're available in my Etsy shop. I think I made like 11. There's some on the Facebook group in the files section as free downloads. Um, but I want to work on more patterns to sell this year. Uh, I'm trying, you know, we're, we're working on our finances <laughs> like everybody should be. Uh, we're trying to, you know, accumulate wealth savings and you know keep bills paid and all that stuff so i want to try to get more passive income coming in because i make a decent income through youtube and through etsy but that's income you have to physically work to do if you don't do the work you won't get the money <laughs> but i want passive income which is you do the work you put it up and people buy it multiple times so you get money without working on it anymore so uh a good way to do that is through patterns <laughs> or digital downloads so uh, I'm, I'm working on some digital downloads uh, as we speak and I've got a pattern right there in my cart that I'm designing for January I was wanting to do a pattern a month and the first one's an amigurumi but that doesn't mean they're all gonna be amigurumis um, there might be some other things popping up I'll really love decorating my house with stuff <laughs> so uh, I might throw up some decorations or something and I don't know I got a really cute idea for Halloween but I'm hoping that I can commit to it and um, get it done because I had this idea last year and I just I kept procrastinating it and I never did it before Halloween so hopefully I will write at least 12 patterns this year uh, I'm happy with any but my goal is 12 one a month and anything over that would be awesome <laughs> so those are my crochet goals this year there's not a lot of them because again I don't want to like make this huge list and then feel bad at the end of the year when I didn't do all of that stuff uh, I have a couple sewing goals and this again goes towards um like relaxing and taking a step back and my main sewing goal is I'm not gonna sew more than three days a week. Um, last year I ended up getting overcommitted to the Etsy shop and I was sewing pretty much every single day for like a long period of time. Like every day I had to do some sewing or I'd be behind schedule. Um, and I don't like feeling that because <laughs> you know I didn't start my making bags as like a business. It didn't like start that way. It just kind of formed into that over the time. And I'm only one person, I can only make so many bags. And uh, sometimes the demand for my bags is pretty high, which is crazy, I don't really understand that, but it's, it's cool, I'm not complaining. But um, I got over, I got too committed to it last year and I got too like wrapped up into it. And I was doing so much sewing that I wasn't doing hardly any crocheting or anything else. And I have other parts of my life that I enjoy doing. Um, so uh, I reevaluated <laughs> the last few months and that's why the bag updates have gotten fewer in between the last few months and then this whole year it, they're going to be smaller I, I had updates last year that i was putting out like 50 bags uh every two weeks or sometimes more often than that and uh you know it's great for sales and stuff but it's not great for my mental health so i'm taking a step back and i'm committing to only three days of sewing a week that i am doing bags uh, sometimes i take a week or two break uh, i haven't sewed i think in like three weeks since the beginning of December. Um, so I did start sewing today. <laughs> I already had on my fabric cut and everything. I did that the other day. But I started sewing today. I got all the outsides of the bags quilted this morning. So that's day one. So today's Saturday, the second, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do some sewing Sunday and Monday. And by Monday, those bags will be done. I'm sewing 15 uh, tote bags. One is for myself though. And one, uh, the other 14 are going to go in the Etsy shop probably uh, Wednesday. <laughs> but I'll put a video out before that to let everybody know. And I do have another tote bag I need to sew for Jill. And uh, I have a drawstring bag I'm going to make for Cindy. Uh, and then, but those are just, they're, they're, they sent me fabric as a gift. And then uh, usually when people send me fabric, they, they specifically asked for bags. But usually when people send me fabric, I send bags back anyways <laughs> as or something because uh, you know, fabric's not cheap. Even if they've had it for years sitting on a shelf, they still paid for it originally. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be sewing less, which means less bags, but also less stress. <laughs> and also my bag updates, like this updates nothing but tote bags. The next update will be drawstring bags. And then the next one will be tote bags and drawstring bags. And I will make notion pouches every now and then, but I hate making notion pouches. So I, uh, I'm not gonna be making a lot of those. 
and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make what I feel like when I feel like it and put it up and that'll be that. <laughs> and then the, the last sewing um, goal this year is to put pockets in the tote bags. <laughs> People's been asking and asking for pockets in the tote bags and I just haven't done it yet. So I want to um, practice it for a while, get good at it, the placement and all that, the size. And then I'll start putting pockets in the tote bags at some point this year. <laughs> uh, I don't know when that'll be, but I'm gonna work on that. These ones won't because they're already started. But uh, hopefully soon I will learn pockets and get them going. <laughs> so yeah, so those are my goals this year. I only have uh, six of them that are like written down. <laughs> I have plenty of other goals in other parts of my life. That's also on my phone. I have uh, finance goals and I have health goals and stuff like that. But um, this is my crafty stuff. So yeah, that's my goals. I'm curious to what everybody else's goals are. I've watched Terry's video my neighbor baby is crying i can hear it <laughs> um what, who else did i watch i just watched him. crystal i can't remember her channel name <laughs> i hate that i hate when i can't remember people's names i'll link both of them below anyways though their videos if you want to go check out their goals and uh, i don't think i watched anyone else's goals not yet, but a lot of people haven't posted them either. I meant to make this video and post it yesterday, <laughs> but I was just busy. So, uh, day late. That's okay. But, uh, yeah. So, let me, I'm curious about you guys' goals. What kind of goals do you have craft-wise this year? Uh, if you have any, <laughs> feel free to post them in the comments or put them over on the Facebook group. Because I like reading over there too. You know, I hang out on the Facebook group a lot because I'm on Facebook a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just, it's always fun to see what other people's plans are and, uh, see what their goals are. I know a lot of people always say, I'm not going to buy yarn, but that's, that's, um, that's like an unsubstantial goal. Like you're eventually going to have to buy yarn. Even if you're not buying it for personal reasons, you might get an order. And are you going to turn down that order because you're not going to buy yarn? No, <laughs> but, um, I'm just going to try not to acquire as much more yarn than I use. That's kind of like my goal. <laughs> I want to try to use up yarn and, um, I'm going to buy yarn if I, uh, like it and I want it I'm gonna buy it <laughs> but I just don't want it to have like walls and walls of yarn that's just sitting there forever but Devin just texted he's on lunch break now so I'm gonna hop off let me know your goals down below and like this video if you liked it share it if you think someone else will like it subscribe if you're not and I'll see you in the next video bye guys